What is up Madden 25 gamers? In today's video we're going to showcase the best goal line play in Madden NFL 25 uh, 2.0 and basically we're going to expand on what we showed you guys last time. Um, the play we suggested to you as being the best goal line play in the game was the giant slot trail um, mainly because we built around the aspect of not only the not only this route but the we would put this kind of route combination out there motion Williams in and, and we would be able to get that separation against man and then we would also be able to if the play broke down we could hit Des Bryant uh, in the back of the end zone for uh, uh, just a, uh, a catch normally he'll catch that every single time well in today's video we're going to show you how to get that animation from Des Bryant um, that we like to get and down in that red zone how we can get that route out of almost any formation in the game um, basically what we're looking for is a deep in route so it doesn't really doesn't have to be the route from giant slot trail I was uh, under the impression it had to be that but then I found something out of the split giant out of the play halfback slip screen basically it's gonna cause the same type of separation so what we like to do with this one if we're gonna run this is our goal line play is we're gonna put Witten on an in route we're gonna motion Williams over and have him block underneath and what should happen is that route you see how awesome that deep in route he, it's almost like a, it's like an end zone fade in my opinion. It, it's that effective. I mean, they really have to commit to stopping this. And I like to put Des Bryant there normally, but obviously I don't have my depth chart set up for it. But you see, he's always going to get big for you. It's never, ever, ever going to be really um, that big of a deal if they're going to pick it off. I mean, sometimes they'll have like six guys there, and that's when you have something else open, of course. That's why you need to have reads. But this route is just very effective for, for the red zone. For some reason, it just gets big. I don't know why it is. I don't know the coding. I don't know what's going on with the game. I don't know why the in routes work. But in my opinion, one of the best the best route for goal line offense in this game is that deep in route uh, in the back of the end zone. You're trying to hit it in the back of the end zone. Now, you can do this out of many other plays. Um, another play I like to do it from comes out of the gun, Normal Wing, New York. It has this play, um, Giant Sail. You see we have that deep in route to the right now. And the only problem with this one is it will get pressed sometimes. So I like to max protect here, give myself plenty of time in the pocket, and just pass lead that in route up, and it's almost like they never cover it. I don't know why it is, um, but it's very effective. It's a nice counter to the slot trail because it's to the opposite side. So, you know, they, they may be overplaying the other in route, but you see it never gets covered. I don't know why it is. Um, we'll show you zone here. And zone probably does the best job out of any because if they have enough people there, it can sometimes cover it, but you pass lead it up. And then just for some reason, they just don't cover it inside the five-yard line. I don't know why it is, but it has to be one of those super, super deep in routes. Um, a play that comes to mind out of the uh, split giant here is this wide receiver deep in as well. Um, this will work as well. I like to, again, max protect with both of these guys in the backfield. And then here you'll see Des Bryant. And, and that time they actually covered it pretty well. But normally they won't. And, and I'm going to show you in a play now mode. Um, real quick after we get done with this uh, route here but again just pass lead that thing up once he gets separation and you're good obviously if they send pressure you want to have a quick read that can beat pressure but that's why the giant slot trail in my opinion is still the best goal line play but now we have other plays that we can run that are similar to and you can find it out of in almost any formation here single back ace this route to Williams is the same idea it's the same kind of route it's that super super deep in route and you see he's just gonna get open it's not really anything that I'm doing I mean I'm pass leading him up uh, up into the inside so at about one o'clock and I'm bulleting it and that was the first time I've been intercepted and that was you know that, and it's maybe it's partially because this route to uh, Williams isn't as good as that route uh, out of the split, but when he goes to the back of the end zone, that's the idea. You're just kind of fitting it in there. Now, obviously, you want to experiment with it before you take it in the game, or ex definitely experiment in a game before you go on for money games or whatever, but there's many, many different formations that will have this route in it. Um, we'll see if we I mean, I've already seen a couple out of this formation. Why Trips um, certainly has it. One of my favorite uh, plays to do it out of. Uh, is this bunch play um, spot dig is really effective for it um, but that's not really the same idea Let's see if we can find one from the iPhone Pro it'd be really cool if we had one from the iPhone Pro because he has this PA wide receiver in that deep in route again so here we're gonna fake to the halfback we're looking to hit the Williams over the top 
So we fake it. Williams cuts underneath, and there you go. Wide open. For some reason, the zones don't respond. The man coverage doesn't hang with it long enough for it to stop it. It's just a very good goal line play, and you can mix in other routes with it, but it's just it's money, guys. I'm telling you right now. So real quickly, before we get out of today's video, I'm going to hop into a play now game and just um, just show you... A couple of goal line, um, a couple of goal line plays um, that you could use. Um, just a couple of, just a couple of examples of what I would do. But this is out of almost any formation, and that's the key. Um, now we can do this out of more than just that one play from Giant Slot Trail. It opens up playbooks. It opens up a lot of things, guys. And and I can't believe I didn't see this earlier when I actually was originally thinking about running this. But it's just very effective, guys. You need to be at least at least maybe try it once uh, one time in the red zone um, you know you may not you don't have to rely on it for like two point conversions if you don't want to and obviously if they're giving you a run I mean that's why I like it out of the eye form because now if they're not if they're not respecting the running game we can just pop it with a quick half back dive or something and again you're just keeping the your foot on the gas pedal guys that's the idea with these uh, these couple of uh, goal line plays that we've released to you over the last couple weeks so um Guys, definitely, definitely, just want to get you guys thinking about the idea of having something in your in your arsenal that's really, really effective on a goal line. I think that's very under, underrated. Um, so, let's grab into this play now here, and, and let's just let's just show you guys this uh, this play here. So, um, what's your guys' favorite thing to do inside the five yard line for like th maybe it's like third and short? Are you guys more um, set on running the ball. I'm not really set on running the ball unless I'm inside like the two because I don't want to risk the, the chance of fumbling because there's a lot more people in that little space and a lot more opportunity for you to cause um, for you to have to, for you to fumble and it's just not it's not it's not really something I want to take a chance on so that's why I don't that's why I don't really uh, mess with running the ball inside the five because I just can't fumble. It's just that fumbling is so common. It's 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 ridiculous how common it is to fumble the football, uh, almost like it's your job. And here I'm just gonna run some plays to get down there. Uh, let's, let's just blitz everybody and get us down there because you don't need to see this because this isn't part of what I'm trying to show you guys. And of course, why would you? Hmm, that's frustrating. I mean, it's realistic, but dang, I'm trying to show you guys something, and they just swat the ball. That's okay. All right, let's just hit Williams here, and we'll get inside. And, and, and uh, from the seven-yard line on in, I like to say more closer to the five-yard line. So here, we'll just get inside the five. And uh, we'll show you the first play we broke down, that halfback slip screen on a split giant. And we'll just come out, standard 4-3. Defense, and a lot of times with people, you'll see people do something like this in the red zone, something like that. And so we'll set it up the way we like to use this play, but the main route we're going to focus on is Miles Austin's in route. Snap go. And with a pass lead up, you see that big animation he gets over the top. That's the idea. And again, sometimes, sometimes they can knock it out if it's man. That's why I say man probably does the best. But you know, normally you're gonna be fine. Uh, you know, if you throw it three times, you'll probably get it twice. So that's just kind of the the percentages. And here, uh, here we'll just go with the basic cover three. Something you all I I see a lot of cover threes with quarterback spies in red zone. Um, a lot of people like that stuff. I used to run that in Madden like 11 and 12, cover three, spy the DTs, and they used to have pretty good success. So that's what we're running here. And there you see, that's the animation we're trying to get. Um, we got it flagged for something. Illegal touching. I don't know what we did wrong there. But, guys, that's the basic idea. And, I mean, he, dropped, he drops it sometimes, and that's just part of the game. Um... That's why I like to put like my best catch and traffic guy there. Uh, here we'll show it to you out of a different formation. I'll show it to you out of this. Uh, inside cross is the play we're going to use. Um, against this, someone would usually use a nickel normal. And we'll just show you the route. Des Bryant's going to be the main guy we're looking to hit here. On that deep end when he cuts to the inside. 
and pass lead up and there you see there's that separation that we're looking for doesn't always they don't always get that super high jumping animation um but you know normally they normally if they don't get that they still normally will catch the ball um and that's why it's so effective in my opinion because you know almost no matter what they're gonna make that play for you nine times out of ten um here we'll show it to you out of uh single shotgun spread i'm sure there's something in here we can use um, we we'll use this X follow play. Put Brian out there. Dollar three two six cover three, and then we'll just clear out space for him. Just an isolation play almost, and basically there it is, and there it is again. Just splits the safeties really well. Um, now if they use that, of course you're you know you have to you may have to go to something else. Um, if they use her that route, I would say that's why you want to have a route combination like the giant slot trail or like that halfback slip screen we showed you. Stuff like that to counter to counter the uh, user hot route. So, Alright, we'll just show you one more time here. So we'll get down to the about the seven-ish yard line. Get tackled, and then we'll show you uh, one more possession inside this. This is a playbook. I don't even know what I'm running on um, defense. Full house here real quick. This FL middle, or that PA middle play from full house, it has that route, so that's actually kind of good because now you have, you can really go max protect here with this three guys blocking in the backfield. And then you have Washington coming over the middle on that route. It's unbumpable. And then again, just pass lead that up. That time we got picked. The reason we got picked there um, is, like I said, if they're in front of him, if they're already sitting there, if they're already occupying that space, that's where you can get in trouble with this play. Um, because, again, you know, it's not a bulletproof play. It is, in my opinion, the best goal line play that you can have because it's, you know, if, if they don't use it, it's money because they can't do anything, you know. But you have to combine it with other routes, and that's the idea, so. Okay, let's do this uh, for the Cowboys red zone play, and that really wasn't the that wasn't the correct end route. The correct end route that you're looking for, um, if you really want to get streamlined, is this uh, halfback slip screen end route. That's the route you want. Uh, sometimes the, you know, routes like Giants fork or you know plays like deep end. Those plays will still those plays still work for this. They're just not they're not the most effective option because of what you just saw. Because they can sometimes, not all the time, sometimes get intercepted by those uh, corners there. So here we'll show it to you here. And Romo got hit when we threw that one. And like I said, you want to get it about the five, um, the five yard line or in, I would say. And let's find another route we can show you it out of. The empty spread I'm sure has something in it. Just a deep in route. We'll just use strong flood, and we're just gonna hit this flat route real quick to 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 um to Austin here. Get just a little closer so we can get that proper animation. And then now we'll show you the route. Uh, we'll go cover two sink. That's a lot of popular. A lot of popular teams use that play. Need to get just a little closer for the route to go to the back of the end zone. That's the idea. Remember, if it's not going into the back of the end zone, then it's wrong. It has to be into the back of the end zone here. You see Williams' route's now in the back of the end zone. That's what we're looking for. Pass lead up. And that that wasn't the right end route. Of course it wasn't. Um, and that's why you have to practice them. Because there's certain end routes that work and there's certain end routes that don't. Like you saw earlier. This PA middle end route, it works 99% of the time. But the... Uh, in route from that from that spread doesn't work. Why does it not work? Well, it doesn't work because it doesn't have the um, the proper cut. When they hit the back of the end zone, if they just start, if they just stop, or they just turn around or go somewhere else, that's not what you want. You want them to basically just continue the route upfield. So here we'll show you this uh, PA middle play, and we'll show it to you against two man under. And we'll put these safeties and hook zones over the middle to try to combat the, the, the route combination. And so we're looking to hit Washington here. Just pass lead. 
uh, up and to the inside. And I guess that route's just not, I guess that in route's just not the, the right kind. But like I said, that's why you want to practice them. Um, because there's, like I said, you know, there's certain ones that work. There's certain ones that, that don't. I mean, you saw earlier this, the split offset route, the split giant halfback slip screen route works almost, it, it works for me 100% of the time. I've never have thrown a pick with that route. Um, I've always been able to get it to work properly. And here we'll show it to you one more time before we get out of here today. Uh, because I apologize for picking like the three or four plays that don't work with this. But you need you need to just kind of focus on this route. Because the route to Des Bryant, that in route is different than a regular in route. So that's why you can't you can't just have that's why some formations won't be able to do it. But that's why you know, that's why you have to lab and find stuff like that. So all right, here we're just going to go max protection. Give me plenty of time to read the de to get the route off. Man, I guess triple coverage stops it. I don't know. But, yeah, that's the basic concept. And, like I said, you just work off of it. So, like, a play like what we showed you from the giant slot chart. Like, here, the split slot... The split offset six eight nine hook works very effectively um, for this concept because the route the in route is proper, and I mean obviously if they have like seven people in the way don't throw it, but if it's like a one on one like the fades from Madden twelve, those you know those could be stopped if you put like three guys on them, but if you double covered or you, if you single covered or if you even sometimes double covered those things, you couldn't stop them for some just because of the way the game played. It's the same kind of deal with this. If you single cover it, or if you even double cover it, normally you'll be fine um, with just throwing this up every every time you're in the red zone. Every time you're in the fi inside the five yard line. Excuse me, because the five yard line is not necessarily the red zone. But anyway, here we'll look at it. Just a two man under, just regular single one on one coverage. That route gonna break up, come across. And there you see, that's what I'm trying to show you. You see, and we'll take a look at that in this replay. He'll just hold on to it for no reason at all. Um, and you can throw it blind almost 100%. I mean, you saw, obviously, it's not 100%, depending on the route you have. But comes to the back of the end zone, breaks across, and for some reason, you can just fit it in there. I don't know why it is. I can't explain it really to you guys. It's just is very effective. I just know that it's effective, and I know that it's worth at least trying once or twice especially if you have the right route uh, like i said you know some playbooks don't have the right route for it um let's show you something from the tray open i believe the tray open used to have something yes this pa wide receiver in route that's kind of the route that we're looking for so right should get wide open on this Comes to the back of the end zone, cuts up field, pass lead up, and there's that animation in the back zone. You're just pass leading it to the back of the end zone, and you're you're gambling. Um, you're not really gambling, though. You're kind of hedging your bet because the only thing that usually will happen is he may drop it, as you saw earlier with that split screen when he was getting those crazy jumping animations. And that's mainly when they put, like, three four guys on him. He can drop it, but single coverage or two guys... It's almost money. It's like a back of the end zone post route. So I'm sorry that if I took up too much of your time today, I wanted to try to give you some in-game examples. And it does work a little bit better based off what mode you're on. Um, right now I'm on all Madden, so the defense does play better. When you're on the online mode, you'll be on all pro. So you should be fine for that. Um, so guys, let me know what you guys like inside that. Uh, if you don't like this play, what's your favorite goal line passing play to use uh, inside the inside the 10 yard line thanks for watching today hopefully you guys can use this to better your offense in the inside the five and we'll see you guys next week with another good play breakdown